все. These little guys, she hasn't had a haircut yet, um, but she, you know, she gets eye boogies and she needs to be groomed periodically to make sure that she's mat free, check her ears, things like that. These little guys have a tendency to bypass a lot of stuff that larger breed dogs have to encounter just because they're small, but I'm here to tell you as an ex-groomer, the dogs that most groomers fear aren't the big ones as much as they are the little ones because they're snappy. So we start out really calmly. I'm actually wrapping my fingers with my palms up underneath her collar so I can grab her kind of by the side of the head and the ear. And that way when she goes to grab at me like she's doing now, I can either force her teeth onto her own lip or at least draw her head away from me. So I just keep kind of bolstering her up. She's not allowed to escape. She was just playing with her sister, well, her girlfriend Pearl, Auntie Pearl. Saddle. And she's kind of cranky because she'd rather go back to playing. And we had this episode with her yesterday where she basically was getting a little feisty. Now, I don't know if the camera's picking it up. You can see the brush, this is called a pin brush. This is rectangular, it's manufactured by PSI. You can get it at cherrybrook.com and this is the type of car or the type of brush that we prefer to use on these dogs because you can use whole or part of the brush and you can see she's chewing on it. So I'm just going to extract her head. As simple as that. No muss, no fuss. I'm not saying anything to her and we're going to go back to where we were and finish the work. She wants to whine and scream. She's not being hurt. She's just protesting being held. So, we simply start over. We basically get them to the point where they realize that resistance is futile. They're not going to be released from their torture. Good girl. And then when she stops fighting, good. Her, what she perceives as being discomfort ends. But the bottom line is, is it doesn't happen until after she stops fighting. Now, if you're ambidextrous, you can hold her in the right hand while you do other parts of the body. And I'm, I'm not pulling the hair through the brush. I'm basically just more or less touching the body with the brush. Because I don't want to be digging all the way down to the skin. This should be a pleasant experience for her. Good. Good pop. And she's so small, it's not like we have to have a wrestling match with her. Good. But she has to realize that she's not allowed to fight. <whistles> I know. That's on you, little girl, not on me. Good pup. And again, I'm making this as relatively quick and as obstinance free as possible. Good girl. Good pup. Very nice. Good girl. So when we do the under parts, we simply hold the dog in our lap. Until she stops fighting. Then we proceed. Good girl. She had such a fit about this the other day. Good girl. Uh-uh. Good. We persist. It's like the new internet meme and she persevered. That's all we're doing. We're making it difficult for her to resist. And then when she does, we go back to where we started and we finish the job. It's not that she's being, you know, she, we're not hurting her. She just doesn't like being restrained and she doesn't like being brushed. Good girl. Good girl. And again, I'm not whacking her with the brush. None of that. I'm just combing through that little, those little legs. Good pup. With a brush that's designed for this kind of hair. See that? Good girl. 
very nice.